Many religious festivals in India are linked with moon. For instance, Eid, which is the main Islamic festival, is linked with moon. Here, the Muslims break their fast and chant prayers on arrival of moon. The next religious festival that is linked with moon is Karvachat. In this festival, North Indian women fast from dawn to dusk for the safety and well-being of their husbands. And when moon arrives or appears in the sky, the women break their fast. So, such festivals like Eid and Karvachot is related to moon. So, moon has a significant influence on the lifestyle of living beings existing on earth. So, now let us know more about moon. Moon is the natural satellite of the earth. A natural satellite is any celestial body that orbits around a larger celestial body. So, moon which is a small celestial body orbits around the earth which is a larger celestial body. So, moon is the natural satellite of the earth. Now, apart from earth, other planets also have their natural satellites. Some planets even have more than one moon or natural satellite. For instance, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune. They have multiple or many moons. Now, among all these natural satellites, can you name which natural satellite is the largest one relative to the size of its planet? The natural satellite that is largest relative to the size of its planet, it is the Earth's moon. So, I just mentioned that moon is the largest natural satellite relative to the size of its planet. The diameter of the moon is 3474.8 kilometer which is one fourth or one quarter of the earth's diameter. The earth's equatorial diameter is 12,756 kilometer and the polar diameter is 12,714 kilometer. So, we can see that the moon's diameter is almost one fourth the diameter of the earth and due to this reason moon and earth are together known as double planets. Here double planets means that two planets coexist together but let me tell you that moon is not a planet rather it is a natural satellite of the planet earth. But since moon is the largest natural satellite relative to the size of its planet, therefore moon and earth are together known as double planets. Now before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this question. What is the diameter of the moon? Is it 12,714 kilometer, 12,756 kilometer? or 3474.8 kilometer or 40,000 kilometer? Well, the correct answer is 3474.8 kilometer is the diameter of the moon which is one fourth the diameter of the earth. Well, we know that moon is the natural satellite of the earth. But how far is the moon from the earth? Well, the distance between the moon and the earth is 3,84,400 kilometers. Thus, we can say that the moon is 3,84,400 kilometers away from the earth. Now, we often see a bright moon at the night sky. 
now what do you think the moon is glowing on its own it's absolutely not the moon does not glow on its own because moon is a non luminous body that is it has no heat and light of its own the moon only reflects the light of the sun so as sun rays fall on the surface of the moon the moon becomes visible to us now you will be surprised to know that we can see only one side of the moon now why do you think this is so the moon revolves around the earth and also rotates on its axis if this is the earth and this is the moon then the moon revolves around the earth and also rotates on its axis now the time taken by the moon for revolution and rotation is exactly the same and that is 27.3 days since moon takes the same time for rotation and revolution so we can only see one side of the moon and the side of the moon that is visible to us is known as the near side now can you name the first person to land on the surface of the moon the first person to land on the surface of the moon was neil armstrong this person landed on the surface of the moon on 20th july 1969 Since then many astronauts have landed on the surface of the moon to know more about the closest friend of the earth that is moon So in today's video we read about the natural satellite of the earth that is moon we read that the moon's diameter is 1 quarter of the earth in fact moon is the largest natural satellite relative to the size of its planet then i also mentioned that we can only see one side of the moon because moon takes the same time for rotation and revolution then we read that neil armstrong was the first person to step on the surface of the moon Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now